the whole issue of testicular torsion presenting with minimal pain uh, to no pain. And this young man, 14, started having had some mild testicular pain on um, on Sunday, and uh, we're not going to show his face, uh, but uh, he he may tell us may answer some questions here as we go along. But um, the pain the pain was never really severe, and uh, although he had a couple episodes Sunday evening of doing some vomiting, and on a on a uh, on a, on a scale of 10 on Sunday, when the pain started, well, first of all, when the pain, when the pain started on Sunday, was it sudden or was it gradual? It was gradual. It was gradual. So, so again, that's something we need to learn about testicular torsion. Usually we think about a sudden, um, you know, almost thunderclap sort of um, onset of pain. And, um, and so his was gradual. And then on a scale of 10, with 10 being the worst pain, uh, on Sunday, at the worst, what was the pain? A three. A three. Absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And that's going to be the, the, the emphasis of this discussion is that testicular torsion can present with just minimal pain. And then, so, um, Mom noticed that you were uh, limping a little bit on Sunday, Mom? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and you were a little bit embarrassed and you, you just told her your leg was hurting, right? Is that on Sunday you told her that? Or was that on Monday? It was Monday. On Monday. Did the pain um, go away completely on Sunday? I mean, just if you were laying in bed or not moving around, you did you have any pain? No. Yeah. Was, that, was that the case on Sunday? Or was that just on Monday? Did it get better on Monday? As long as I was laying down, it was better. Okay. All right. So... Like right now, you've had no pain medications, and as you lay there, you have no pain at all in in the um, in the in that left testicle. Okay, all right, and um, and so you do have pain though if if you touch it, and and Mom said you were limping a little. When was it? What day was he limping a little bit? Uh, every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Okay, so he was just walking a little funny, and and because he was embarrassed, he told you it was his leg. Was it? He, you did give him some Motrin when? Um, he had some ibuprofen, I want to say maybe Monday or Tuesday, but only once. Only once, okay. okay. But on, on Monday and Tuesday, if if you didn't touch that area or, or bump it, you had no pain at all. Is that correct? Okay, okay. And when did the pain start getting worse then? Was it Wednesday? It was like Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. And then that, that basically meant the testicle was lacking blood supply and, was, and starting to swell. And, and um, so, so then on, and then today being, um, it's Thursday morning now, uh, early in the morning, um, just laying there, you still have no pain. And it's just if, if you move. But on, on examination, that, that area is really swollen and, and, and it is tender to touch when we touch it right now, too. But uh, so I think the teaching point, though, is, and I think because the nerve, the nerve supply in the testicle, when that testicle twists, it'll sometimes cause the. It's just like the testicle goes to sleep, and when it goes to sleep, um, you don't feel any pain, and um, and p people can misdiagnose this condition, um, and and so we, we thank you so much for letting us do this video. And again, we won't show your face, and this is very helpful, and I think it's going to be very educational for people. Um, to understand that 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 just because someone's not having a lot of pain that they can't have something serious going on in that area. So um, I, pr I appreciate you doing this for us. So thank you.